This video is going to serve as a follow up to the Beyond Trust password safe slash secret safe postman or introduction video. Um, if you haven't watched that, I would encourage you to go watch that before watching this video. I'm just going to pick up kind of um, where we left off in that video where I walked through the, the, the password safe um, YAML file and from there uh, kind of walk through some use cases of uh, how to use the API, um, how to get authenticated, uh, make a, a sample call to both to the Beyond Insight API, which is kind of the management interface, um, the password safe API, actually check out a managed account password. And then the last was the uh, retrieval of a, a secret credential. Um, and so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, taking that um, that knowledge, that experience, those those API calls, and putting it into a script so we can, you know, make make use of it in a kind of a more automated fashion. So, what we have here on the screen is uh, the link to the uh, Secret Safe uh, documentation. It's all under this API guide underneath the beyondtrust.com forward slash docs for password safe. And so the very first command of what we want to do and what we did in the uh, the Postman um, workflow was I showed all of the, um, the folders that my API user had access to. Um, there were permissions there. So, you know, the user needed to have, the API user needed to have read access to the secret safe. Um, and then they're going to have access to whatever groups they're a member of inside of password safe. That's essentially how it works. Uh, these are the parameters that you pass through. Um, there's no body in, um, in this particular case. Um, and I think really uh, in, what we're looking for is just to return everything. So we want to see all of the folders. So, uh, and you could do this in whatever, you know, uh, scripting language or, or coding language that you want to use. Uh, this example is written inside of um, PowerShell. Um, there are some sample scripts that are, come as part of the, the resource um, the resource kit for password safe. Uh, one of them is like a, a generic script. There's like a password retrieval script. And what I have here in this generic script is this is kind of all my functions. So um, I'm passing in my URL, which I'm storing as an environment variable. I'm passing in my API key, which I'm storing as uh, an environment variable. Not sure why I didn't actually store my, my user, my API user as an environment variable, but that's okay. Um, and then in here, if we start to you know, collapse some of these regions, I have uh, the different functions that I'm going to be using inside of this get all secrets in folder. So the very first step that I do is I, I import this as a module. So the script it's sitting in the same um, folder location uh, that this is um, that this script is actually running from. And then the very first step that I do after that, um, that import, I'll go ahead and execute this. I get logged in. After that, I'm going to grab all of the secrets that exist inside of a folder. So just like what we did in the Postman video, I've already grabbed the, the folder ID of what I want. So I've, I've ran that command and said, hey, the, this is the folder that I'm interested in. And I've grabbed out that folder ID. And I'm explicitly just grabbing out the IDs for the secrets that are within here. Um, this I am basically just declaring output as a variable. And in particular, I'm declaring it as an array variable. So I'm going to put some information in there. So I'm going to run a loop uh, a for each loop. It's just a loop that's specific to PowerShell. So I'll grab, um, I'll kind of run through it for as many um, objects exist in this original array. So if there's three, I'll run through it three times. If there's two, I'll run it through twice. That's all this is really doing. Otherwise, it's a standard loop. Uh, this line here, I'm uh, this, uh, again, this is my array. This plus equal sign means that I'm going to continually add, you know, add objects for each time that I'm running through this loop. So I'm going to, um, populate it with the, the first secret that's in there. Um, so that's going to include the password and all the information about the secret. The, the next time it'll, you know, add that in. So when I run kind of the next piece is here. 
what this will do is then run through that loop and then output it as a table to the screen. So these are the actual passwords for my secrets, um, the IDs, the name of my secrets that are there. Fantastic.